Hey there creeps and troopers, it's Logis Officer again, and welcome back to some more Minecraft. As you can see from the background, um, 1.8 pre-release has been leaked. Uh, I'm not sure this is a really leaked version because, um, Notch actually mentioned on his Twitter that he didn't really care if people played it and just please report the bugs. Um, but I think, by my point of view, view I think that this version wasn't really a leaked version. I think it was to increase publicity or to satisfy the fans hunger just like me. Okay. So, and also I wanted to mention really quickly that this version is a pre-release, so this doesn't have all the features that that's going to come on 1.8 and there's still a lot of bugs, so please if you do find a bug, please report it to um on the forums on the official Minecraft forums so that Mojang can fix the game. Alright, so let's take a look at, at the new and beautiful fancy new interface for Minecraft 1.8. Woo face punch yes alright so when we can go to you can click on single player now, as you can see, this looks pretty similar to before, but when you actually cr click on Create New World, you will have two game mode options. You'll have Survival Mode, and you also have Creative Mode. <coughs> so Survival Mode, just like before, um, you can search for resources, you do some crafting, you build yourself a shelter, and you try to survive. And you, there's also the experience now, there's health and hunger. And you can also switch to creative mode. This is a mode that's that a lot of builders really like because right now um, you need to have the fly mod and also the too many items mod to actually um, build something really quickly if you want to. But if you do create a world on creative mode you can build anything with unlimited resources and you can fly anywhere you want and destroy any block instantly. So that's pretty neat. Alright. Um, there's also the more world options. This is where you can put your seed. Um, if you do actually use a seed, just put it right here. But normally, um, I don't really put any seeds because that's just my preference. I like it random. Random for the win. Alright. There's also um, generate structures. Um, you can put it on or off. So if you put it on, it will generate NPC villages dungeons, mine sh shafts, and also a strongholds, I think, and there's only one per world. I'm not sure what that is, I didn't find it yet. And there's also this, I'm not sure what this does, I can't really click on it, but it's the world type, normal. Maybe you can change change it to something else, but right now you can't really. Let, let's just try it, if you switch on survival, nope, we cannot click it, okay. So this is about it for the sort single player changes. Now we're gonna go to multiplayer, and as you can see here, there's a bunch of new buttons here. Pretty cool. Okay. So if we click on add server, you can put a server name. Um, let's just you can put anything like um, I don't know, I don't know, Lejo Solforex. Whoops, Lejo. Okay, you know what? Never mind. So you can put your server name right here, and down here you can put the server IP and just click done, and it will list list the server that you put it in this over here. There will be a list of servers that you want to join. And you can also do a direct connect if you want. Just type in the IP of the server and just join the server. Now, this delete. This is to delete the server on your list. This is the edit button. This is if you want to change the server name or if you want to change the IP. And that's all of this also this refresh button. Hmm, what can a refresh button do? This will actually um tell you if the server is uh, has a good signal and how many players on are on the server. So you can do a refresh and it'll tell you the signal and the number of players in the server right over here somewhere. I don't have a server right now, so I can't really show it to you guys, but you guys can go check it out. And yeah. Okay, now the mods and texture pack um, over here. This is pretty much the same thing. Nothing has changed, and we also got the options. There's actually two new options. We've got the FOV, F O V. I'm not sure what this stands for, but this actually changes the view in in the game. So it's pretty cool. You can turn it from normal to, to 
Quake Pro. Oh yeah, we're pros. Alright, let's turn it back to more normal. It's pretty fun to play with this. Um, the second option is the brightness. You can actually switch from the normal brightness we had before, the moody one, to change it to bright. And this will actually make your game way brighter and at night you can actually see them um, far away with this option so this is pretty neat <coughs> if you're scared at night and don't want to see monsters well there will still be monsters but you will be able to see them when they're coming that that's neat that's really neat yes all right so yeah that's about it for the title screen I'll go to single player, I'll create a new world, I'll create a survival and a creative one and show you guys the new features. Don't go anywhere, I'll be right back. Alright guys, welcome back. And I just spawned in somewhere really weird. On the side of a mountain, I guess. Oh, and uh, this is the new biome. Is that a tree in the water? I think that is got some new nice music in background okay as I was saying this is a new biome that's been introduced in 1.8 and it's called uh, the swamp biome and as you can see the biomes are more uniform and are way larger if if I go further over there over there I think the biome will be way larger than before and I think this is like a river sort of stuff, or this is just a swamp. But it looks really cool. I really like this. But I spawned in somewhere really weird. I was looking at the dirt. Okay. So let's take a look around. Oh, so beautiful. I'm so excited for this game. Oh, alright. So. Oh. And as you can see, this. This is a new block that's been. Oh, I don't want to fall. Let's go down slowly. Ooh, okay. Ah, nice music. We got some nice music. Hmm. All right, I'll jump in the water. All right. One, two, three, go. Ah. Uh, all right. We're up. So as you can see here, the this is a new block that's been added. It's actually called um vines, I believe. And vines will grow by itself when it's attached to something and there's um, ground below it to grow or if there's a block next to it to let it grow. And you can actually collect um, vines just like um, leaves with shears and you, you can place the vines to make a nice decoration or something if you want. But the, you cannot um, climb these. So yeah, looks like ladders but you cannot climb them. It would be a nice feature if we could, but we can't. Alright, next. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, yes. There's beef now. There's beef. Cows. You will give me your milk, you will give me leather, and you will give you your meat. We want some steaks. Alright, um, but first, I want to show you guys the user interface. It's also called UI. So. When we press E, it's the inventory to open up your inventory, just like before. It looks like the same like before, but when you look down, well, you look look over here. We've got the health bar here, just like before, just like before. Just it's the same thing, but we've got two new bars. We've got the hunger bar and the, the experience bar. Uh, to gain experience, we need to hunt monsters. And when you kill a monster, the monster will drop um, experience orbs and you can just walk up to it and collect them and you will be able to gain experience. But right now experience doesn't do anything um, when you gain levels, it doesn't do anything, it doesn't affect the gameplay. But Notch actually mentioned that um, he will add new features just like skills or spells so th the levels are for something. Ooh. What's that? That looks really weird. Is that a cavern? Wow, I was up there. <laughs> that was a pretty weird spawn, but I really like this map. Alright, um, as I was saying, okay, so we're finished with the experience bar. Now, let's move on to the hunger bar. The hunger bar, if you have nine or more chunks of meat over here, um, you will be able to regenerate your health um, slowly and you will heal yourself. And when you eat food, you will only um, replenish the hunger bar. 
you will not be able to heal yourself immediately because that's the new feature to Minecraft. I think it's pretty sweet and it's it adds more realism to Minecraft. So yeah, and also the fruit is stackable now, so that's pretty neat. Right. And the f the hunger bar will deplete when you run. You can sprint now, so when you sprint, it will deplete faster, and when you're fighting, it will de deplete, and when you're working too. So let's go ahead and hunt ourselves a cow. Hello there. Hello. And as you can see, when we hit them, the cows won't just stand there, and uh, well, it, it, it is doing that right now. But when you hit it once, hit it once, it will run away now. So it looks more natural when when we're trying to hunt an animal. Stop running! Come on, let me kill you. Hello. Hi. I want your meat and stuff. Whatever. Or, or. Hello. Come on. Come on. Come on. No. Don't run away. You're too fast. Oh. Okay, let's see. Do we see any experience orbs? I did actually already gain experience, as you can see here. But I don't see any experience orbs. And this is beef meat. It's called raw beef. Cool. I don't know if sheep drop um, meat too. People actually do eat sheep meat in some places, I think. Not sure, but I think. Alright, so I've gained a little bit of experience and I want to show you guys um, that the food is stackable. So, let's go. Oh. Hello there, cow. Come on, give me another piece of your yummy, yummy, yummy. Raw beef. I love steak. Or oh. nom 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 nom. Oh, and there's also a new eating animation if you guys didn't know. Oh, here we go. That's the that's the experience orb if you guys didn't see it. Experience orb. Oh, it collected. Oh, and uh, I think it's going to get dark. As you can see, the food is. Stackable, but I don't know if it's up to 64 or just like before. And there's a new eating animation. I'm gonna show you to you guys. No, mm -hmm. doesn't work. I think I have to wait until my hunger bar is depleted so I can eat it. And this version, you can actually use um, F6 and F7 to toggle the day and night cycles. And as you can see, when you change the day and night cycles. Um, it the transition is way smoother than before. Before it lagged a little bit, but right now it looks really awesome. It's not like um, lines of uh, lines of blocks that are that are changed, but right now it's the whole world and it looks really sweet. And it's, it's really fun to just play around with this can change the day and night time with F6 and F7. And we can look at the sunset if you guys want. Just once. Just look, look at the beautiful sunset. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh, looks so beautiful. Alright. Let's take a look at dawn. Oh. The, the tree's hiding it. Let's try that again once more. Wow. Wait, wait. Wait, we're supposed to do this and go back up. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Alright. That was pretty weird what I was doing. Alright. Let's see what's next. Hmm. We've got a bunch of new things, but I'm not sure what I'm going to show you guys. Hmm. I'll just admit. I'll cut some of these parts and when I find some new features I'll just show you to guys and um, right now I'm just gonna collect some stuff and uh, and uh, yeah and we've got a hole here what oh gosh this is a really big hole whoa zombie sounds and stuff I don't like this place just go here and uh, yeah this is wood in the water I guess this really looks like a swampy area 